Some people call me the space cowboy. Well, I think, you know, we have to reflect on the, the successes of the of the shuttle program, but if we're going to do something else, you know, fly beyond Earth orbit, whether that's back to the moon, an asteroid, or Mars, we have to um, move on to a, a vehicle that has the capability uh, to leave low Earth orbit, although the shuttle is... Uh, you know, programs have been very successful. It's a very uh, versatile vehicle, can do a lot of different missions. One thing it cannot do is leave the uh, orbit of this planet. So because of the resources we have, we have to retire it if we're going to build something else. Well, you know, people like to explore. It's got us where we are today, and I think it's very important that we continue to do that, and I think, uh, you know, we will. We'll we'll have a little bit of a downtime here where we're not flying people, you know, from the United States. We'll continue to use the Russian Soyuz, but, you know, hopefully in five or six years we'll have a new spacecraft. You think of the time when there might be an accident, and you wonder if there isn't a flaw in that plan, uh, given that it might knock the, the, the main contractor out. You know, ideally, if we could get uh, a commercial crew capability, that would be great. But at the same time, it would be nice to have, you know, a government vehicle that we could rely on as well. How are you most unlike each other? We know how you're alike, Mark. I've never got that question before. That's a good one. Let me think. I'll turn it over to him and I'll think about it. Scott? People generally think I'm a lot smarter than he is, so that's one way we're different. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Well, he did have the first answer, Mark. He, he, he did. He, he's been saving that one. I saw it written, <laughs> written on a sticky note in his office. Mark, maybe if you could ex- expound on it first, uh, what you hope to see in the future in your own career, and then we'll ask Scott the same question. Well, this is going to be my fourth shuttle flight, certainly my last space shuttle flight. And, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do next. My goal is to get, you know, my crew safely on orbit so we can install this alpha magnetic spectrometer, which is our primary payload. It's a $1.5 billion cosmic particle detector built by 16 different countries. So that's our primary goal, to do that safely, get back safely, and then I'll worry about what's next, you know, after I land. If the opportunity presented itself for me to fly again, I think I'd jump at it. So hopefully, uh, you know, the space program will uh, continue to need my services as an astronaut in the future when I return from this flight. One crowning achievement of which you're most proud serving at NASA, what would it be? First to you, Mark Kelly. You know, my last flight as the commander of STS-124, you know, the fact that that mission was was so successful, I'm very happy, you know. So professionally, I think it would have have to be that. Well, for me, if, uh, you know, on this coming flight, I'll be the commander of the space station for about four months, and uh, my goals are no one gets hurt, we don't break anything, and we complete all the mission objectives, and if we do all those three things, that'll certainly be my uh, my crowning achievement of my professional career.